The Hollies once sang about a tall walking big black cat. This one fits the bill. Well, we're not guaranteeing that driving this car is gonna land you a long, cool woman in a black dress. We bet it couldn't hurt. And an R-Code 428 under the hood adds an extra level of confidence. It might be hard to define what's cool, but it's easy to know it when you see it. And this 1969 Mercury Cougar XR7 convertible is about as cool as they come. Cougars were always intended to be a bit more reserved than their Mustang cousins, but that didn't mean that they were any less of a thrill ride. And this one delivers the goods on all levels. Styling was new for 69, with a full-length, deeply sculpted Coke bottle contour running from nose to tail. And the black body looks more like a panther than a cougar. And we really dig the red pinstripe, which is echoed on the Redline tires. The white convertible top and red interior provide great accents to the black body. Paint matched bullet side mirrors point towards the Ram Air scoop in the hood, almost reminding oncomers to take heed of what lies beneath that scoop. A silver stripe spills the beans on the engine size, but a happy little kitty cat provides distraction at the nose of the hood. Headlights were hidden behind a precise horizontal slat grille and headlight doors, a revision on the previous electric shaver design found on the 67 and 68 cars. And if you look closely, you'll see the stray cat strutting in the passenger side headlight door. The taillights, however, retained their vertical rib details and thankfully, they're dancing turn signal lights. And there's few pleasures in life like wheeling a big block drop top on a warm summer night. Cougars were always stylish rides, and the 69 redesign was on point. According to the report, this car was ordered in September of 1968, and it was built in October of 68, but it wasn't sold until July 3rd of 1970. So I wonder what the big delay was. I mean, maybe the dealer kept it around to entice other people to come into the Mercury store and have a look around. What do you think? As cool as it looks, this Cougar packs some serious heat under the hood. The 428 Cobra Jet V8 made for an awesome driving experience. 440 pound-feet of torque pours on with the mash of the throttle, and peak engine power was advertised at 335 horsepower at 5200 RPM, but it's widely known that these made more juice than advertised. 10.3 to 1 compression, big valves, low restriction heads, and a hydraulic camshaft made it all happen, all under a 735 CFM four-barrel carb fed by that functional Ram Air hood scoop. This one spins a C6 automatic transmission with a 3.0 geared rear end. That 428 has the grunt to shake things up, even with a highway gear out back. Inside, the Cougar does not disappoint, with a rich red interior complete with comfortable bucket seats and a full-length console leading past the automatic shifter to the AC controls and a Philco AM radio that provides the opening act for the rumbly pipe duet that sings going down the road. The dash is equipped with fuel and amp meters next to a 120 mile an hour speedo and a 6,000 RPM tack. And yep, that speedo has the red line and not the tack. A little weird, but common on these late 60s Fords. 428 cars were equipped with a performance tuned suspension system to manage the road, and this one rolls on 14-inch redline tires, wrapping styled steel chrome-plated wheels, hiding power-boosted front disc brakes. It's crazy and wild, but it's got cat class, 
and it's got cat style. Big power, a great design, drop top fun, all wrapped up in a classy Mercury Muscle Cat. Like the song says, this one's got it all. We'd like to thank everybody around the world who spends time with us here at Muscle Car of the Week, and a special thanks to the Brothers Collection for picking up such cool cars. We'll be back next time with another one. Hope you can join us here on Muscle Car of the Week.